Uh, Rick, do you want to uh, invite people to something? I do. Uh, if you're in L.A., you want to come see the play that I and my fellow castmates are in called Dinner with Friends. It's happening at the Zephyr Theater on Melrose in Hollywood. Wait, you're an actor? It opens. Yes, I'm an actor. Wow. Did not know. Uh, and it, 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 it opens uh, this weekend. It's going to play through all of April. And hopefully, maybe ticket sales will justify an extension to take it beyond April. So there you go. And there you have it. Well, there you go. Uh, I didn't know you were an actor. I thought you just talked out of your ass all the time. Yeah, no. Well, that, that too. That too. Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick's of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to every supporter and patron. Follow us account, subscribe, like button. Uh, what are we doing, Rick? I don't know. Yeah, me either, man. Uh, today we got uh, a little. See hey, shut up! God, <laughs> Shahid's always interrupting me. Uh, this is uh, this, is, uh, this is a little um, little interview. Hey, it's your best friend. It's my best friend, Shahid Kapoor. Yeah. Uh, not Shahid Kapoor, which is what we used to call him when we first started the channel. Yeah. Uh, Everybody would laugh at us. Which I, I find funny as well now. <laughs> like, wait, I called him Shahid? <laughs> there's a lot that we said. And there's a lot we still say. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the time. Uh, we're very dumb. To, this is a little interview uh, from Barut, India, um, that he did. And it's Shahid Kapoor on disparity in the film industry. Um, You know... Everybody knows Shade Kapoor is very despaired upon in the industry, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, but he's not a product of nepotism, am I right? I don't know. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I really, the whole uproar about nepotism is a just giant waste of time no one should definitely be upset with shade kapoor about nepotism <laughs> because dude has uh, talent out the butt in terms of acting yeah. dancing um i don't know any any other things but he's brought a lot to the industry <laughs> uh I mean, as, a, as an actor and a dancer every every industry is about relationships and it makes sense that you would have someone from your family continue doing stuff with you because you have a relationship with them it's the the whole argument about nepotism to me is just a giant anyway unless they suck then then it's terrible i agree yeah then it's like anything you, you know you, you're gonna give somebody preferential treatment and call them great but they're not great and they suck that's one thing but that's that rarely ever happens and i would like to thank rick for uh uh, tuning in from jail uh, as well. So yes. here we go. You're welcome. <laughs> I saw that comment. That was, I think it was the last time we Skyped. It was, like, it was really cool of Rick to uh, <laughs> Skype from his jail cell. <laughs> That's about right. Here we go. <laughs> See, everybody yeah. says this Pankaj Kapoor ka beta and all that, but you know, character actors don't have any power. Only stars and superstars and big film directors and producers have power. If you start struggling in a BMW and then after a star you buy another BMW, then what's the fun of it? Why don't outsiders get opportunities the way that they should? There's a lot of people who are from within the fraternity and very few from the outside. Have you, like, been a dancer behind, like, you know, A-lister stars and Yeah, stuff? of course. Behind, I was last in line also. See, when you start with Shamak, you have to be in the last line. So forget being behind a star. You're also behind your contemporaries. You have to earn your right to be in the first row. <laughs> you have to so earn young. your right to be more central as opposed to in the corner. So it's a lot of work. And, and I just, I love that. I love the fact that... Every step forward required so much effort and it meant so much and so the gratification that you felt when you earned it was so solid. It has to be difficult to get something, otherwise what's the point of it, you know? If you start struggling in a BMW and then after a star you buy another BMW, then what's the fun of it? You should have travelled in trains, you should have wondered how you're going to, you know, get your photo shoot, ka paisa kaan se aega, meetings ke liye kapde kaise penunga, how, how will you do all those things? Like, that's real, right? That's and how yeah, it should be. And yeah, of course, be. I mean, it's, it's, it's the actual adventure, that's what goes in the books, I mean, but but so at this point, did people in that row, I mean, there four rows of dancers, ki, and that time we're not going to take your full name. It's like Shahid is behind. So at that time, did you know that this is Pankaj Kapoor's son who is behind? Hai? See, everybody says this is Pankaj Kapoor's son and all that. But you know, character actors don't have any power. 
only stars and superstars and big film directors and producers have power so it's not a big deal um secondly i actually stayed with my mom so i never told anybody because uh, my parents were separated and there was this whole pride thing that i don't want to say anything to anybody so i never told anybody um actually i told my dad that i have signed a film after i signed it he didn't even know from the time you started to now what is what is like the biggest difference you see for say it yeah say it why don't outsiders get opportunities the way that they should there's a lot of people who are from within the fraternity and very few from the outside i don't know if that was the case 20 years back but i uh, know we came from outside <laughs> i know i also came from outside actually because i came from delhi to bombay and i was with my mom and then i struck I, i mean i didn't i didn't have any channel talent is not being given an opportunity as much as it should and i pride myself in the fact that i am here because of the work that i did and because of the actor that i learned to become and whatever it is that i gave to the craft you know like i pride myself in that um whether i've had a great career average career from everybody's point of view whatever there everybody has a different point of view but <laughs> no what i'm saying is like no seriously like you know everybody will have a different point of view uh you know but but whatever it is it is mehnat ki kamai you mm-hmm. know like kaam se you know not naam se it is really naam se ho gaya yaar kaam se kyun nahi our biggest superstars were kaam se we were actually killing our own fraternity maybe mm-hmm. that's why there is a lack of good content oh, wow because you got to put your money on the horse that can actually run not just the one that's you know got the shiniest coat oh yeah it, it? it looks like it's a uh, a much longer interview and they've cut it up yeah um yeah i'd be really interested to uh, to hear more of that cuz he one he's such a well spoken man um and yeah, well, you know what we think of him as an actor i think he's a uh one of the best uh, especially in of his of his uh age groupings which is how you do actors and people in his cuz you don't normally compare like Michael Caine to you know Timothy Chalamet uh, cuz they're just uh at two different points in their careers but of his contemporaries i think uh would be the word uh he's he's definitely one of the best um i think um and it shows that he cares so much about his craft um, yeah I would be interested to see Agreed. how much he he says he didn't get any help from his father and he says and that if if anybody did anybody know that he was uh, his kid though um because that's that's one of the things I do take it because Lily Rose Depp said this one time she says um I didn't I didn't my dad didn't give me anything I said well your name is Depp okay so that is a that is a advantage you have <laughs> over others cuz people know who your father is so they're like oh let's capitalize on the name so that doesn't mean you don't have to have the talent uh, <laughs> and you still have to deliver after that but it's a foot in the door thing that i think people that have it of need to course. that they do need to acknowledge that i don't know how oh, much of on. yeah i don't know how much of that happens here that's just an example like i had of lily rose i heard her say that once and i was like bro your dad's one of the biggest movie stars in the world come down you've had a, a big step in the door <laughs> yeah i mean anything if 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 I don't have a problem with this and if I was a producer or a director and I made this choice I would do it as well. If you have two people who are right for the role and could do it really really well, right? They're both equally talented, they would both have their own take on it. But one of them happened to be he doesn't have a kid, but let's say one of them his last name was DiCaprio. Yeah. If I was auditioning for something and it turned out to be that it was, you know, me and it was up to me and DiCaprio's son and they gave it to DiCaprio. I would absolutely understand that. What yeah. I would care about is is he going to do a good job? And as long as he did a good job, I'd be like, "Awesome. I totally get it. I would hire a DiCaprio before I'd hire me." Yeah. Because the interest level is going to be so much higher that they're going to be able to have some sense of guarantee of return on their investment just because people will be intrigued. Ooh, a DiCaprio. It's just Yeah. It's just common sense. The main thing is well, here's the thing. If they're not that's the thing don't don't hype something up that isn't good whether it's an actor or a film or a director or a song just because you have a personal prejudice toward it that's never going to be more important than the actual quality of the craft yeah um i know i'm not saying that uh should uh i'm not questioning shit i'm just i i wanted to know um if if that is the case cuz then that 
Um, I think star kids need to acknowledge the privilege that they have. I don't think they need to be, I don't think they need to, um, be ashamed of it. Obviously. Uh, I would love to have a famous father. Uh, that was the industry. (laughs) Give you, give you a good example. Everybody, Jamie Lee Curtis won an Oscar for everything, everywhere, all at once because she's a good actor, not because she's Tony Curtis's daughter. Yeah. But she did. She got Get into her, the industry because of her. You betcha, yeah. cuz she's Tony Curtis's daughter and she'll be the first one to tell you, I got into this industry because I'm Tony Curtis's daughter. Yeah. I got a really really lucky break. Yeah. Um that is something that I, I definitely I I take issue with star star kids that don't acknowledge that. That don't acknowledge that. Um Correct. because it is the biggest advantage you can have. Of course it uh, is. There's a lot of other stuff. I don't. Ta- I don't hold it against them uh, right. if they're star kids and they're talented and they deserve. Uh, like Shahid Kapoor is one that's very deserving of his stardom, um, even though no. he says he's not well, a star. But I, he, I is. He, he is. He is. Here's a, here's a little nepotism to the side, if you will, that's coming up. Uh, the Michael Jackson biopic. Yeah. So it's not his kid, but it's his cousin. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to just write that film off before it ever comes out because he had preferential treatment because he was related to Michael. No. How about the fact that maybe because he's related to Michael, there's going to be a higher interest and maybe he has a genetic predisposition to portray him better than anybody else can. Well, yeah, no, that one's definitely uh smart on that part for sure. Yeah. It's a very smart casting uh, choice. And my assumption is going to be that when he screen tested, he did well, because if you think that's going to, People are going to go see a film just because it's his cousin. I promise you, if he gets up there on screen and he's not doing a good Michael, it's going to be really, really bad for everybody involved with yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, let us know what you thought about that. Let us know what our next Shahid Kapoor film should be. I We do have uh, some more to get to of his. We have a bunch of his. <laughs> um, that we need to get to. Um, and Shahid Kapoor, my best friend, please come on the channel. Yes, please. <laughs> Don't follow.